nie z nami mistrz multiwymiarowych teorii Matt Horwich. Matt, it's a, it's a pleasure to talk to you again. Great glasses, actually. Thanks so much. I love uh, the red round lens. I love uh, Woody Harrelson and Juliette Lewis's costumes on Natural Born Killers and yeah, Oliver insane. Stone's trippy style of directing. And um, it's one of my favorite movies. Love the soundtrack. Uh, my friend Danny Lawner worked with the soundtrack when he was in Nine Inch Nails. And there's a bunch of great Nine Inch Nails, Leonard Cohen. Uh, Peter Gabriel, some oldies. I mean, it's a great, diverse, artistic soundtrack and movie. And, and I heard the story they, they stopped you from en uh, entering the Poland uh, at the airport they, like for three hours. What happened? For three hours? Yeah, they, they, that's what, what I've been told. I didn't hear anything about that. No? No. That's strange. Maybe someone lied to me. And you you, you seem pretty more energized this time because last time you you cut uh, you cut at 20 kilos, so 40 pounds. What's what it's like uh, now? Uh, this time was an easier cut. I slept better the night before because usually I got to cut really hard the night before, and it's hard to sleep when all I want to do is get up and drink water. But this time I slept a lot better. Had an easier cut. Um, I'm feeling good. Um, I feel like I got the right tools to get a good performance and good win. So I want to go out with faith and leave it all out there. And, and usually bring some some new training techniques. Last time you showed us great maracas shadow boxing. Is there was there anything new this time? Uh, well, I'm always working on uh, working on adding new stuff to the stand up and uh, new stuff to. Uh, to the submission game and growing as an artist uh, in MMA and so there's been lots of good things happening um, hopefully I'm gonna I'm gonna be working with my friends on the orphan killer horror movie so that'll be fun and um, everyone can google the orphan killer or find them on my Twitter and Facebook and, uh, and you're fighting uh, Peter Struz, Piotr Struz. Did you find anything, um, some weak spots on his two lo losses he, he has? Uh, well, he's got one loss by submission by a Bravo choke, yeah. one by knockout. Um, everyone says he's better at stand up than on the ground. So, um, you know, I don't like to give too much away of my strategy before the fight. Um, but I think I got a good game plan to go out and have a good performance and do the correct stuff. Mm -hmm. And have you got, because it's your fourth time, uh, fourth time you'll be fighting at KSW. Hopefully for you, you, you might have a chance for, for third uh, win after this fight. If you will win this fight, would you like to fight for the belt uh, with Michal Materla? So as a rematch or you would like to fight Mamet? Uh, well, I would like to fight for the belt. Um, Mehmed's a nice guy, he said nice stuff about me, great champion, I have a lot of respect for him and Miho Matterla, both amazing fighters. But I would love to fight for the middleweight belt and I would love to try some fights for KSW at light heavyweight oh. and see how I do without cutting so much weight. Mm -hmm. so uh, just for fun to try something different. Did, did you actually mention how much uh, pounds did you cut this time? Because you said it was better, but how, mu how, how much? Okay, I usually I cut from 225. This time I cut from 211. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, 10 pounds less, and it was that's a significant amount in cutting weight. Mm -hmm. And you were supposed to fight uh, Kendall Grove uh, this year, and wh what happened? The, the fight didn't happen. Uh, I don't know what were the facets to the fight falling through. They just said it wasn't happening. Um, Kendall Grove, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, I love the guy. Um, we both needed the money, though, and most friends fight over beer or uh, girls. Uh, but we fight like uh, to, for 10 grand and some uh, a good chance to have the mic to say good and positive things and inspire people. So we were, we both needed the money, but in a way I'm kind of glad it didn't happen because I love the guy, he's a good friend of mine, I love the Islanders, and uh, uh, in this, I also love Jay Silva, he's a good friend of mine, so both of those fights didn't happen, so God bless, I'm kind of glad. And you're also known from a great friendship with Jason Miller, who doesn't have the, the, the too much of a good press right now, is, is he alright actually? 
He's doing good now. Um, he's making it into training a lot more. Uh, the problem was he had the injury and he wasn't able to train, I think. And when you can't train, you got a lot of time to make bad decisions. So is he coming back to, to MMA? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's got to get over his knee surgery. But after the knee surgery, he wants to come back to MMA. Me and him are going to be working on the Orphan Killer horror movie and uh, hopefully do some TV stuff. And we work really well together because Jason's uh, really crazy and keeps the conversation going and uh, entertaining and funny. And I try to say smart stuff here and there. Mm -hmm. and so we work good together. Yeah, and it seems like your f Polish fan base is growing a lot, is it? Yeah, the f Polish fan base is always growing. I'm actually staying here two weeks and three days after the fight. So if anyone wants to hang out and grab dinner or uh, have me teach a seminar or some private lessons or just grab a beer, um, hit me up on Facebook or Twitter. I always wonder what, how the hell you, you, you stay uh, not having uh, so a lot of... Uh, a lot of um, shit, I forgot the word. Uh, What's jak jest ubranie? Ah, okay. I I was wonder how the hell you you stay without uh, too many clothes because it's winter and you live in a, uh, you live in a place where where it's usually pretty hot. So how you how you doing? Well, I'm cutting weight now, so I'm so thirsty. I don't notice it's cold. Okay, it is. It But, is. <laughs> um, I just came down to check my weight, and I wanted to have as little clothes as possible when I check my weight. So the weight's looking on, so after I weigh in, I can get my IV and eat some food. And you don't know, realize how much you enjoy eating till, and drinking till you abstain from it a while. And it's a good exercise in self-control, but I'm a guy that loves eating a lot. I love Polish food and I'm looking forward to tearing into some of that and some good vegetables and nuts and seeds and good nutrition and getting ready for the battle. And, You already had some uh, time to, to for sightseeing, enjoying the place because Wrocław is a pretty play, pretty cool place to be at. Right now, I'm too busy cutting weight to really enjoy it, but I'm going to be here in Warsaw. How do you pronounce uh, this place? Yeah. Uh, Wrocław. Wrocław. I'm going to be here for two weeks and three days. I might make the journey out to Warsaw, like for a couple days, part of the time. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be tripping around here for the next couple of weeks, so I'll get to see all the sites. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, so, so I just got to, after I get the battle done, then it's time to celebrate and have fun. My last question, uh, I was wonder, is there any prediction you can you could have for, you could uh, tell us for, for the nearest fight on Saturday? Uh, my, my prediction is to go out with faith and courage and, and leave it all out there and swing for the fence. Um, the strongest soldier of God is a soldier of courage, not of fear. So I just want to go out and leave it all out there. No regrets. And that's my prediction for the fight. Okay, I wouldn't be myself if, uh, if, I, wouldn't, uh, if I wouldn't get any extra questions. You are searching for, for the new entrance song. Is there any idea for the new entrance song? Well, I was going to come out to a song called uh, Worst Stars, and it's a song Dio and all the great metal vocalists did, and the great metal guitarist Ingve Malmsteen, who hits 23 notes per second using finger tapping. And they all got together and they did this song for, uh, for starving children and children in need in Africa called Worst Stars, about how we're all stars uh, and God's family with limitless potential to tap into and uh, changing the world and getting everyone into it. And so it's a really beautiful moving song. So I was going to come out to that one for this fight. And I gotta ask you for the ob for about the obvious question, uh, Chris Weidman and Anderson Silva, the re the great rematch. Anderson Silva is a great champion. He's been a level ahead of everyone. Uh, everybody thinks he's probably going to win this time. I love the guy. I think he'll do well. But you can never count Weidman out. I love when I uh, Weidman showed that there's no unbeatable odds with the spirit alive. I love that he came out to the Tom Petty song "Won't Back Down" and uh, f was the first guy to pull that off and knock out Anderson Silva. It was amazing. I mean, as much as I love Anderson Silva, it's kind of hard not to be excited when you see someone beat the odds and become the new champion when someone's been unbeatable for so long. And about that, uh, people questions. Uh, 
Anderson will he act the same the 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 the, the style he has and he uh, he show it to everyone do you think he will stay the same absolutely the same with all the towns and everything well that's how Anderson baits people in a lot of people think it's being cocky and show uh, showboating but I don't see that about him he's a really humble nice guy I think that's just how he gets into his flow and he baits the guy in and gets into his dance and um I think uh, when I was watching the fight with Weedman, Weidman, um, I was saying Weidman might be smart there because he's not chasing him, he's waiting. And that's what everyone figured out about Chuck Liddell. Quentin Jackson, don't chase him because he's going to circle off and set up the counter punches. Um, so Quentin waited for Chuck to come to him and throw that body punch and countered it with the right hook. And that's what everybody figured out. So when Weidman waited and didn't buy into Anderson's taunts and chase him, I thought that was pretty smart. But there's a flip side when you really rush someone like Chael Sonnen against Anderson the first time. Um, it's hard for them to plant and punch. And that's a lot the style I work because I figure the sooner I can beat the guy up, the sooner he's not a threat to me and I can get paid and get to the after party and thank God and try to say something that will touch people's lives and inspire them. And so instead of uh, regular finish of the interview, I would like you to say just for those people who are chasing their dreams like you do, what is the you know way to, to, to make them come true? Well, God gave us all limitless potential to tap into, and uh, it's awesome. We all have limitless potential every day to make the most out of the moment and shatter limits and follow our dreams and set the bar higher as human beings artistically and spiritually and athletically. And it's in our nature. I mean, since we've been inspired by superheroes when we were riding on cave walls uh, to going to see X-Men or the Avengers and be inspired by superheroes now, we want to uh, be more heroic and godlike because we are made in God's image for greatness. So uh, uh, the power of prayer produces great results and we all have that limitless potential to become an evolved human race where we all follow our dreams and live happily ever after and the family of God and limitlessness. This God is love and the spirit of love and limitlessness and limits were made to be shattered by dreamers and free spirits. Thanks a lot and good luck on Saturday. Oh, thank you. One more thing. my. F uh, my friend on Facebook, Michał Cezary Książek, Michał Cezary Książek, wanted me to give regards to his family, wife, and sons. So God bless to them, and uh, his sons, got, they can get an early start on tapping into that limitless potential. We all have to be superheroes by the spirit of love and limitlessness working through us. And God bless and do great things. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you. you.